Hello folks, Sonny Puzikas here. Uh, today I want to talk about the holster, a holster called Bergot. Before we go into any kind of technicalities and uh, even the reasons behind behind the different design that uh, we incorporate in the, into the Burkut holster, uh, I wanted to discuss first you know, few issues about concealed carry, about the very essence, the purpose of what is concealed carry, why do we carry, and what are and what should be the priorities for those of us who choose to exercise our right for concealed carry. The, the art of fighting, the science of the weapon itself, uh, in this case, the handgun, has been steadily advancing and uh, changing how, how things are being done. Uh, the weapons are becoming uh, more advanced, uh, more sophisticated, not always more reliable. Yet the concealed carry, you know, for, for the most part, with few notable exceptions, has not changed much in the last decade or two and uh, I want to address few few of the topics, and we will address them in uh, not in one but in few parts on the, on this channel, on Sunny Vision. So, if we look at concealed carry, I think the first question we should ask ourselves: Why is it that we carry? Uh, the most common answers are obviously, you know, to to have tool in my possession that. Uh, if things go south, if bad things start happening, uh, I may have something available to access, to utilize, to use that may change the outcome of a bad situation. And that is correct. Uh, the reason why we do carry is that we have access, possibility of access to the tool that may uh, change the outcome that may give us certain advantages in a bad situation. So if that is the case, uh, maybe we should ask ourselves about the priorities while carrying. You know, looking, looking at a lot of uh, internet forums, at a lot of discussions in different mediums, be it social media, be it uh, during training events, I'm noticing Quite, quite an interesting trend. It is called concealed carry. Uh, I'm not even going to address the open carry issue because uh, my views are quite known about about that topic. I'm not a fan and or advocate of open carry. But in the case of concealed carry, what are our priorities? And uh, I submit to you that concealment, while it is a priority, it's not the number one on the priority list. Uh, to my mind, if I choose, if I make a conscious choice uh, to carry a firearm, my number one priority is to access that firearm in the most efficient manner, in the least, in the shortest possible time, and be ready to use it. Otherwise, if this is not my first priority, uh, I might as well carry it very, very deeply concealed in my suitcase, uh, in my gym bag, or in my backpack, along with my laptop. The second priority, to my mind, is defendability. How well can I defend the weapon that I carry on my body? And uh, what kind of options do I have to prevent a opponent taking possession of my firearm? The third priority would be a comfort. Uh, if carrying a firearm in a concealed fashion is not comfortable, uh, the likelihood of you carrying it at all times uh, diminishes quite significantly. And only the fourth priority, in my opinion, is the concealability. Uh, how well can you conceal it? This is determined not only by your weapon, uh, although granted, for a, carrying a 454 Kasul 
six inch barrel revolver uh, probably limits your options to conceal that weapon. So it's a appropriate weapon, appropriate holster, and appropriate clothing. I hate to say it, but for the <clears throat> for the young studs that like to show their uh, lats and well-developed pecs uh, by virtue of uh, wearing uh, very tight, uh, you know, spandex t-shirts, uh, your options of concealing a weapon are limited. Uh, almost just as much as a beautiful, uh, sexy, hot lady uh, trying to conceal a, you know, full-size frame Glock 17 under the little black sexy dress. Uh, you will probably fail miserably in preventing quite significant printing. So my suggestion is uh, for those of you who carry, uh, dress appropriately, dress for occasion, uh, choose the right weapon, choose the right holster. And now that we got to choosing the right holster, the idea of the what became Burkut holster uh, was in my head for uh, quite a few years. Uh, people that attended my training seminars as far back as four or five years can probably recall me having kind of uh, these uh, discussions without disclosing exactly the ideas about the cant, the angle of the carry in relationship to the way we access the weapon and present it into a fight. The, the idea and the design were kind of finalized in my head and uh, after looking at 26 different manufacturers and talking to quite a few of them about this idea, I made what I believe to be the best decision and partnered up with good folks from Lion Defense uh, who are producing the Burkut holster. The Burkut holster, what it basically is, is a inside the waistband appendix carry holster with adjustable reverse cant and adjustable ride height. Please take a minute uh, to take a look at uh, my friend Charlie from Lion Defense uh, very quickly uh, explaining some of the features and demonstrating the options for changing and adjusting the reverse cant angle as well as the ride height of Burkett Holster. This is the Burkett Holster. I want to talk to you today about the features and the technical specs and how to properly adjust this holster. The holster features a full sweat guard. Second feature we have is the wedge and that's featured here on the bottom of the holster on the back side. And that basically acts like a fulcrum that helps to push the bottom of the holster out away from your body slightly pushing the frame and the grip of the holster into your body, aiding with concealment. Next feature we have is the adjustable retention, and that operates via this Phillips screw here, and it's really simple. You just tighten the screw down to increase your retention, and you loosen the screw to decrease your retention. Next feature we have is the closed trigger guard here, and that's basically just to give you a little bit more security as far as keeping your clothing, your shirt, um, maybe a cord from your jacket or whatever, getting into the trigger guard and causing some issues there. The Burkett holster has adjustable ride height and adjustable reverse cant. Cant is adjustable along with ride height via the black plate behind your soft loops. Cant can be adjusted from 0, 15, which your holster comes set at, and 30 degrees cant. All of these are reverse cant. And the ride height has a 5 eighths adjustability. Burkut Holster is a no frills, uh, relatively basic product. It also comes with a lifetime warranty offered by good folks at Lion Defense. We do not offer multiple colors fancy camouflage patterns, uh, pink inlays, or uh, toxic green, red, uh, blue, uh, 
some kind of accents uh, to customize your everyday carry experience and appearance. Uh, the holster comes in one basic color. We will be offering some additional options as far as shirt tucked in carry options, also for the weapons that do have a red dot sights installed on. Uh, we're also going to be expanding the line and uh, the lineup of the weapons that this holster will accommodate. Uh, for right now, in this early pre-order stage, uh, the holsters, the Burkut holsters are available for majority of Glock models only. We are planning in very, very near future to introduce Burkut holsters available for Smith & Wesson MMP line, uh, possibly for Springfield XD, uh, possibly for some H&K models and few other uh, handguns that enjoy great popularity with concealed carriers. To pre-order Burkut holsters, you can go to my website go to the store and uh, make your choice in right or left hand carry and also the model of your weapon. Depending on what we have in stock, uh, once the pre-order time is over, the shipping time uh, may vary anywhere between a week to four weeks. If we do have it in stock, we'll ship it immediately. Uh, I am looking forward to opinions and reviews of those of you who will start carrying concealed utilizing Burkut holster. Uh, the critique and opinions are always welcome. That's how this world moves forward. Uh, in the next segment about Burkut holsters, uh, we will discuss some uh, other aspects of its use. But for now, Thank you for watching, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can check out available training and other news on my website sunnypuzikas.com as well as patriotprotection.net. Enjoy your day, stay dangerous.